Men wanted the job, which few women have. The new chief of Cincinnati's FBI office is one of the few women special agents in charge in the United States. Angela Byers has been with the FBI since 1986, just 14 years after the agency first allowed women to be agents. New at 5:30, Local 12's Deborah Dixon talks with her about everything from terrorism to Chile. J. Edgar Hoover asked the FBI's first female special agent to resign when he became director. It wasn't until 1972 that women could become agents again. They've come a long way. I would think there were probably some men who wanted this job. Yes, there were, yes. And, and I'm sure there are probably a lot of men that have never worked for a female special agent in charge before, so they're unsure of what that means. So. <laughs> and how's that going? It's going well. It's going very well. Angela Byers is the second woman in charge of Cincinnati's FBI office. There have been 34, including Melvin Purvis in 1930, noted for leading manhunts that tracked outlaws such as John Dillinger. He was a G-man, government agent. Our G-man was the, uh, the gift of choice out of the Chicago division. Chicago office where Byers was an assistant special agent in charge. She also worked in Dallas, was a supervisor in Philly, and chief of the financial crime section in the criminal investigation division at FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C. But it's here where a Columbus man is believed to be the first to train with terrorists in Syria and come back to launch attacks. And then there's Cincinnati's Christopher Cornell and his ISIS-inspired plot to bomb the Capitol. I am concerned and I am surprised that, you know, having been in Chicago and having been in the Washington, D.C. area and knowing the threats there, that we have very similar threats here. Agent Byers says she's impressed with the way the FBI and police work together and the warmth of Cincinnatians. Perhaps it's more like where she grew up with seven siblings and a little Ohio town called Shadyside. I love the Washington, D.C. area, but everybody was just so transient. And there were so many people there that you didn't get that warmth from the people quite like I've seen already here. Agent Byer's mother still lives in Shadyside, Belmont County, one of the 48 covered by the FBI's Cincinnati Division. Byer says her mother isn't exactly sure what she does, but she's very proud. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And for the record, Agent Byers likes both Skyline and Gold Star Chili, as well as Grater's ice cream, so she can stay. She's also willing to try Geta, even though she has no idea what it is, but she will.